at that moment she lost a pulse and it was my job to resuscitate her based on that order. And as I crushed her ribs beneath my hands and looked at her little frail body, I looked at my nurse and said, my gosh, what are we doing? This is wrong. We should be holding her hand saying, thank you, I love you and goodbye. How do we get to the point as a nation where we think this is the best thing to do for this woman? I don't have the eternity pill and neither do you, so we've got to come up with a better way. So as an emergency physician, I was trained in what I call the ER instinct of medicine, which is if you're 8, 80, or 108 and you roll into the ER and you're dying, my job is to save your life. That's what I was trained to do. So if you come in and you're dying, I will intubate you, shock you, perform CPR, put a central line in you, crack your chest if I have to, give you blood, pressors, and antibiotics, and put you in the ICU all without blinking an eye. That's what I was trained to do, the ER instinct of medicine. And that was fine for the majority of my career. I did that without questioning on any age group and any person who came in. Until about five years ago, I had what I will describe as a crisis of conscience, a moral crisis, if you will, for those who were terminally ill or near the end of life. I remember a couple of cases that really changed my mind about how I practice medicine. Well, I loved Monica's presentation. I felt like from the very beginning that she was speaking the language that, uh, of compassion and care and her stories were just so incredibly heartfelt. And, but on the other side, she was also gave us so many details and information. And then TV portrays CPR and intensive care unit medicine all wrong. Of course, you guys have watched the show ER and said, no, they're doing it wrong. So here's the way CPR is portrayed. So a couple of small chest compressions and a little shock, and the patient wakes up and asks for a Coke and a smoke. <laughs> it doesn't happen that way, okay? I just got done seeing Dr. Monica speak to a group of 300 healthcare professionals here in Peoria, Illinois. We tell you, she delivered okay to die, and it is a phenomenal program. She's a dynamic speaker, very interactive, fun and engaging, had the crowd going the whole time. I would totally recommend her for your hospital, your healthcare group, or for any convention that you might have. 100% of us are born, and 100% of us will die. Now culturally, we do a fantastic job of talking about birth, right? Planning for it and celebrating it. We have baby showers and, and, and extensive cultural celebrations focused on bringing that new baby home, right? Now in contrast, we do a terrible job of talking about death and dying. We do an awful job of preparing for it. Few people do. And then it is the rare person who can celebrate the end of life. She was an extraordinary speaker. They respected her as a physician, but somebody who was able to speak to them. She had them on the edge of their chairs. I cannot say enough about Monica as a speaker, as an author, and somebody with extraordinary compassion.